Hey what's up, Jin here from Coding Quick Tips and today I will show you how to get some user interaction into our game. Uh, to do this, Lick provides a class called input and you can get it out of the game container which is given by the update and render method. Uh, you should do all the input inside the update method because you should do all the calculations here. To get the input, you can just create a new variable called input. I call it input, and this should equal equal the input given by the game container. So just type game container dot get input. Uh, with this line of code, we will get the current input state of um, this frame from the update and we can work with um, this input. It will give us some information about the mouse and the keyboard. First of all, let's say we don't want to move our image like um, last lesson with a constant speed, but we want to um, have its coordinates where our mouse is. To do this, we can, uh, we can just get the mouse coordinates out of the input class um, therefore, it provides two methods called input dot get mouse x and y. So we can just set the, our x coordinate of our image to the x position in this frame, and the y coordinate of our image to the input's um, mouse x position at y. With those two lines of code, we just get the position of the mouse inside of our um, window. So here is zero, 0, and it will just return the position of our mouse. And then we just set the position of our image, or the left top corner of our image, to the position where the mouse is. So you see it's really easy to get the mouse position and to work with this. Uh, Slick is very great by giving you, by helping you with input stuff, <coughs> and I really like the system. You can also get a uh, keyboard input by a method called input dot is key down or pressed. The difference be between the key down and key pressed method is that the key down method will return true every update when the key is down and the key pressed method will only return one time true per um, typing. Let's say um, you hit the key and hold it for a little while, it will only return true for one update and it will only return true in a second time if you release the key and press it again. Uh, for our example, I will just use the uh, isKeyDown method. And as in key code, you can either use key codes from the internet or you can just use the uh, constants provided by the input class. For that, I will just write input dot and set key. And we can choose what we want. I will choose key right, which is the uh, right arrow on my keyboard. So this method will return true if the right key or the right arrow key on my keyboard is pressed. Um, so we can do an if here to only um, execute some code if the key is pressed. Um, I think that's also an example of how simple the slick 2 d input is because with one line of code we can get the keyboard state which is really great. Um, now we know when the right key is pressed and we can increment the x from our image only if the right key is pressed. This will cause that our image will move right when the right arrow key is pressed. If we just play it, you can see only if I hit the right arrow key the image will move. You can add this for the other keys too, and you will get a um, yeah, very, very basic movement um, 
screw it here. So I can do left, um, up, and down. I will just change the plus here, and here I will change it to Y. Uh, with those few lines of code we have just created, oh, I exchanged the plus and minus here, because uh, it's quite tricky, because if you want to go upwards in slick 2D, you must decrement your value of the position, and if you want to go down, you must increment it, as I told you last lesson. Now we have a very simple movement script for our image. It's nothing special, but it's really cool if you're a beginner, because you can now write quite every game you want to write, or not every, but you can write a lot of basic games with those two functions for getting the um, key state and the mouse state. You could also check if the uh, mouse button is down. So we can write input dot is mouse button down or mouse button pressed. The differences here are the same as with the key methods. So I will take the button down and the things uh, I don't know if, imp if slick provides here. Uh, yeah, so there we go. If my left mouse button is down, I will increment the X. And now, if I hit the left mouse button, I will increment the X of the image and it will move right. Um, I think that's it. Or, yeah, let's just test the this button press method. Here I will increment it with um, ah, it's mouse pressed. Um, here I will increment the uh, x at a um, static variable or at a static value, and I won't add the delta time because it's only called if I click and not constantly called. So if I now click one time, it will move, and I must release my mouse button to click again. I can't hold it. I think that's it for the basic input. With the input and the movement and the image rendering, you can now create a really basic game, but I will cover some more stuff for game logic in the upcoming tutorials. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>